Samantha, I have to admit that despite my misgivings, so far your marriage seems to have agreed with you. Well, thank you, Daddy. Wish I could say the same for yours. Oh, my marriage agrees with me. It's your mother who doesn't. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen her so angry at you. Oh, I have. We've been through these little misunderstandings for centuries. But has she ever threatened you with an ectoplasmic interlocutory? No. But I suppose there's a first time for everything. You don't seem too worried. Yes, it'll be a difficult adjustment for me, but I'll struggle to make it. And you'll have Abigail to help you. <laughs> Speaking of help, uh, can you carry these two plates in for me? <laughs> Didn't I just give you two plates? They're on the dining room table, together with those. <laughs> Thanks. Come along, my dear. Lunch time, I'm starved. Uh, ham and cheese sandwiches. Oh, what else? Potato salad. And uh, if you want dessert, there's ice cream. I want dessert. Yes, I know you do, sweetheart. Sandwiches, potato salad, and ice cream. What kind of lunch is that? It's a gourmet lunch. Mortal style. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you how the other half lives. I'm not interested. I want my regular lunch. Then make it yourself. Okay, I will. <laughs> That's your regular lunch? What do you have for dinner? Uh -uh. Oh, dinner's my big meal. <laughs> That ice cream. <laughs> Abigail, mm -hmm. you're a jolly good eater. <laughs> now you have a nice nap, Tabitha. And when you wake up, Grandpapa's going to recite Macbeth for you from beginning to end. <laughs> you lucky girl. <laughs> Mother! Ma! Oh. We'll talk in your bedroom. I don't want Maurice to know I'm here. Okay. What took you so long? I traveled the hard way. Well, did you go to the witch's council? No. I realized that an ectoplasmic interlocutory might be just what your father wants. So? So? I won't give it to him. Mother, that's just an alibi. For what? You yourself don't want an ectoplasmic interlocutory. Yes, I do. No, you don't. What difference does it make what I want when your father wants Miss Abigail Beechwood? <laughs> By the way, am I on Durwood's side of the bed or yours? Mine. Good. <laughs> Mother, Daddy doesn't want Abigail. Deep down, he knows that you are the only one for him. Then what can I do about it? Well, how about the old jealousy approach? It's corny, but effective. Who could we get? Dr. Bombay's nephew. The one that looks like uh, Steve McQueen? <laughs> he is Steve McQueen. <laughs> oh. Besides, he's too young for you. Oh, well, isn't Abigail too young for your father? Well, yes, of course. But, you see, we'd be much cleverer if we... Are you ready for this? No. But tell me anyhow. John Van Millwood. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 Maurice, we'll have an absolute fit. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> 